Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to give animations a motion blur, that is, objects or text that you move around the screen. We start by adding a color clip. We just need a white background and we put it on the bottommost video layer. We also want more tracks, so let's insert video tracks until we have six in total. And then you put your image on the topmost and stretch it to the size you want it to be. Please note, this only works with uh, images that don't have semi-transparency, otherwise you will get uh, issues with overlapping and, getting, and the image getting much darker. So, what we need now is an effect. We need the pan and zoom or position and zoom effect. So we're going to look for zoom and drag it onto the image clip in the timeline. And we're going to go to properties. <clears throat> and we're going to add a keyframe at 215. Go back to the first and make sure that At the start, it's outside of a frame, so we can see some movement. And this here is what it looks like now. So, to add the motion blur, we're going to copy this layer. going to select it, press Ctrl C, and then, depending on where our mouse is, we're going to make copies delayed by one frame on the layers below. <clears throat> and if we look now, it already has some kind of motion blur, but not very blurry and rather rather bulky. <clears throat> so to make it more appealing, we're gonna add transitions. We're gonna click on the bottom left corner. This adds a transition. We're gonna stretch it to the full width of the clip and we're gonna switch it to the composite transition with the track to mix with selected to be black and what's going on here the opacity should be 100 <clears throat> all right So we're going to copy this as well and paste it as well on the other layers. But we also want to put it on the bottommost layer. Right. Okay, so the first one stays as it is, but the second one we're going to reduce the alpha the opacity value to 80 and then to 60 40 and 20 and if we take a look now it's a much smoother transition movement blur so let me know what you think if you have any other hints or questions please write a comment Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao!